This video will show you how to install the Boost Auto Parts RZY harness into your 2019 Silverado or Sierra 1500 truck. The RZY harness is only needed on model year 2019. In addition to this RZY harness, you will also need to install the Boost Auto Parts Modified Door Harness Kit, which has a separate installation video. After both of these kits are installed, you can achieve fully functional tow mirrors with running light, turn signal, as well as the rear facing cargo light. To get all these products and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Begin by popping the hood. Remove the 10 millimeter nut holding on the negative battery terminal and remove the negative battery terminal. Open the door and carefully release the door boot by prying at the top with a flathead screwdriver or trim tool. Begin by pulling the red latch back. Then take a 90 degree pick and pull up on the front side of the latch and push lightly away on the connector. Remove the connector from the door jam. Pull it down out of the way. Remove the trim piece around the seat by pulling straight up. Once that's removed, using a trim tool, remove this front piece right down here on the door. To push the door jam connector into the vehicle, there's two tabs up here at the top. Squeeze them in and the connector will fall down into the vehicle. Reach your hand up through the foam gasket area and pull the connector down towards the floorboard. If you would like to print a schematic to follow along with this video, please screenshot this schematic and print it. Locate the RZY harness provided by Boost Auto Parts. It's important to note that the short end shown on the left here will be the driver's side and the passenger side will be the longer end. We'll begin by working with the driver's side. Locate the white latch at the bottom of the connector. Take a pick and pry out. It should slightly unplug. That will allow the insertion of the terminals. When inserting these pins, the crimp needs to face towards that side of the connector. So go just like this. For ease of showing you how to insert the wires, we're going to be doing it on an empty connector here. However, we will time lapse the footage showing how to install it with the connector in the vehicle. It's the same procedure, it's just easier to depict with an empty connector. Some of these terminals may be pre-populated. If any of the terminals are pre-populated on your truck, you simply will not use that wire, so you can simply cut off the terminal and tape it back with some electrical tape. Insert the white wire into slot 4. Insert the red wire with blue tracer into slot 22. Make sure it slid all the way forward. Insert the blue wire into slot 42. Here is the door jam connector being pinned with the connector in the truck. It's just hard to show this on video, so we showed it with a fully deep pin connector. But as you can see here, it is possible to do it with it in the truck. In some instances, you may find that one wire may be already pinned. In this truck we're working on, here on the driver's side, pin 42 is already pinned, so we will not be utilizing the blue wire on the driver's side. In this case, since we're not utilizing the blue wire, we're going to cut the terminal off of it and tape the blue wire back with some electrical tape, making sure it cannot short out to anything. If you did not have a wire in slot 42, you will of course enter the blue wire into slot 42. This procedure will be used any time we are telling you to place a wire in a location that may already have a wire. Some trucks are pre-wired for more features than others. Once complete, depress the white latch and it should snap back into the body of the connector. If this will not push, likely one of your terminals is not fully seated. Next, we're gonna be reinstalling the door jam connector. This can be a little bit tricky to get clipped in. It's very important that you fish it in the correct vertical way. You can see there's these latches down here at the bottom. Those need to face down towards the bottom because the way that this connector interfaces with the door, you first latch the bottom, then you slide it up and it'll latch into the top. Position the connector back into place. Using your other hand, reach to the other side of the door and guide it into position. Once you have the connector latched at the back, use your hand from the back and slide it up into position. It will lock straight in. 
guide the door harness back into position. Once lined up, slide the black connector all the way into position, then slide the white latch forward. Once fully engaged, slide the red lock towards the inner part of the vehicle. For the rubber boot covering the door jam connector, begin by latching it at the bottom, then slide it straight up and it will engage into place. Take a straightened out coat hanger or a firm piece of metal and guide it up across the dash, finding an opening so that we can fish it through to the other side. Ensure that the coat hanger or metal comes through the other side. Tape the passenger side wires to the coat hanger so that you can pull it straight across the dash. Go to the passenger side and carefully pull the coat hanger straight on through, bringing the wires with it. Untape the wires from the coat hanger or piece of metal. Remove the connector just the same way you remove the driver's side and then release the white latch as shown on the driver's side on the passenger side connector. For the passenger side, enter the white wire into slot 4. Insert the red wire with green tracer into slot 22. Insert the blue wire into slot 39. It's important to note that the blue wire goes into a different position on the driver and passenger side. We are once again just showing you that the installation can be done on the vehicle here with these sped up clips. Once the wires are inserted, reinstall this white latch, press it in, and it should slide into the body of the connector. Zip tie the harness up out of the way, taking any slack prior to doing so. Reinstall the door jam connector just as you did on the driver's side on the passenger side. If any trim clips were left in the vehicle, remove them and install them on the plastic trim prior to reinstalling. Reinstall the door trim pieces. Locate the body control module. The body control module is on the driver's side, straight up under the dash. You can see there are these colored connectors right here. This is going to be what we're working with. To press the latch on the black connector and pull the connector straight down, releasing it from the body control module. Locate the wire in slot 3 of the black connector. This is going to be in the top row. In this case, it's a green with a violet tracer. Take the T-tap and fold it over until it latches, making sure the wire is directly in the jaws of the T-tap. If necessary, you can use some needle nose pliers to help squeeze it down. Take the red wire with green tracer and plug the disconnect into the T-tap. Make sure the metal from the disconnect slides directly into the T-tap and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Plug the black BCM connector back in. You should hear and feel it latch. Locate the brown BCM connector, depress the latch, and pull it straight down. Locate the wire in slot 2 of the brown BCM connector. Slot 2 is located in the top row. In this case, it's blue with a white tracer. Take the wire, slide it into the metal jaws of the T-tap. Fold the T-tap over until it's fully engaged over it. Plug the red wire with blue tracer directly into the T-tap that's connected to slot 2. Make sure the metal from the disconnect goes directly into the T-tap and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Locate the wire in slot 22 of the brown connector. Slot 22 is in the bottom row, one over from the left. In this case, it's the solid blue wire in the T-tap right here. Fold the T-tap over and the wire in slot 22 until it's fully latched into position. Locate the relay harness provided with the RZY harness. We're going to begin working with this now. Plug the black wire from the relay harness into the T-tap that's on pin 22 of the brown connector. Make sure the metal from the disconnect slides directly into the T-tap and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Plug the brown BCM connector back in. Plug the blue wire from the RZY harness into the blue wire from the relay harness. Remove the blue BCM connector. Locate the wire in slot 1 of the blue connector. Slot 1 is located in the top left hand corner. In this case, it's red wire with a white tracer. Install the T-tap provided by Boost Auto Parts. Fold it over until it latches. Plug the red wire from the Boost Auto Parts relay harness into the T-tap in slot 1 of the blue connector. 
Reinstall the blue BCM connector into the BCM. You should hear and feel it latch. If your vehicle is equipped with bed illumination lights as shown here, please continue watching this video for how to hook up the white wire from the RZY harness. If you did not have bed illumination lights originally, you would have received a supplemental harness part number 5846CH, which needs to be installed in order to hook up the white wire from the RZY harness. If you did not have bed illumination lights, stop watching this video immediately and go watch the video. The link to that installation should be on the bag of the harness. If you did have bed illumination lights, please continue watching this video for how to hook up the white wire. Remove the gray BCM connector. Locate the wire in slot 4. Slot 4 is located one row down on the far left hand side when looking at it from the rear. In this case, it's a gray wire with a blue tracer. Take your T-tap, fold it over the wire, and make sure it's fully engaged. Plug the white wire from the Boost Auto Parts RZY harness directly into the T-tap. Plug back in the gray BCM connector. Tie up the harness with zip ties ensuring it's out of the way. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. Tighten the 10 millimeter nut. And just like that, your installation is complete. After installing the Boost Auto Parts modified door harness, the running light, turn signal, and cargo light should operate. To get all these products and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.